Hi and welcome back to the garden. In this video I'm going to show you how to dry these wonderful hydrangea flowers. There are so many different ways of drying flowers. You can put them in the oven, you can microwave them, you can press them in books, you can get them in bundles and dry them upside down or lay them flat and you can also use the method that I'm going to use here and that is taking the stems, placing them in a vase full of water and allowing them to dry naturally. So as you can see I've already cut numerous blooms from our hydrangea and this is a hydrangea which is growing in alkaline soil and we know that because the blooms are this pinky colour. So when they first flower they have this lovely pink and then as they fade they fade to these lovely different colours. They go more red tones, they turn a bit greenish, they've got all manner of different colours within the same head. And it's no wonder that these are wonderful flowers that people use in wedding bouquets and a lot of floral arrangements. So on this table I have two vases and these have literally just been cut straight from the bush and placed into a vase with water. So I'm just going to get one more to add to this. So I'm just chopping these. And this is a quite a nice one because it has two heads so it's like, like quite different this one. And we cut it down, remove the, remove the leaves and then you place it in a vase with water. Now they're just left to dry naturally and just keep tapping the water up as they go and when they start to dry you'll see that the water doesn't need to be added any longer. Now another method that you can do with hydrangeas is when you do cut the bloom, this is a really good huge bloom, if you just soak it in water for a couple of hours and what that's supposed to do is allow the flowers to soak up more moisture and then when it comes to placing in vases like these ones it's meant to keep the shape and the structure and even some of the colour a lot better. So I'm going to try to see the, if we get a difference between ones that I've soaked in water and ones that I've just left as they are and just placed in the vase. So we'll catch up with this very soon and we'll see how the results come out. I hope this has given you some ideas on what to do with the hydrangea flowers on your bushes. As you can see hydrangeas are absolutely fantastic shrubs. They give you this lovely amount of flowers towards the latter end of summer and provide you with all this interest as we're going into autumn. They used to be very very common when I was growing up in the 80s. You used to see a lot of these kind of plants in people's front garden and then they kind of went out of favour but luckily over recent years they do seem to be more popular and you can see why. They're really easy to grow and they provide you with so much interest. They're just remarkable. I will give an update when these are fully dry and the ones that I've soaked in water first I can then compare with the ones that were just placed in water initially without being soaked. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you very soon on the next video. In the meantime, please do take care. Hydrangeas really are wonderful shrubs. They're hardy, they provide abundance of all. Hydrangeas really are magnificent shrubs. They provide you with all this flower. They're hardy and who could resist these beautiful blooms? I will give an update when these are dried and we will start to compare whether the ones that are pre-washed and pre... I will give, a, I will give an update when these are now... When, 